Yeah, good day guys, this is Chibuzo Aguwa and you're welcome to Login for Tech channel. This is a Binance N tutorial video and in it I'll be showing you how to redeem coins you subscribed on Flexible Savings. I'm, I'm actually using the mobile app to shoot this video this time around because I discovered that is what most people use in, um, in using Binance. Um, I originally wanted to shoot this video using the desktop method but since the fact that most people use this mobile app, I decided to do it this way. So um, if you're new to um, Binance and what Binance Air simply means is it means it's just like you saving your money in the bank and you your money you saved in the bank actually attracted some annual interest or monthly interest. So it's the same thing as go that goes with Binance and it simply means that you save your cryptocurrencies, your coins, your token, whatsoever you want to call it and it actually yields some certain percentage to you in um, some months time, weeks time, days time or whatsoever you can say. So that's what we shall be looking at in this video. So most of you actually subscribe to Binance and you find it difficult to redeem your token and redeeming your token means you have to redeem it for it to go back to your sports wallet. So that's what I'll be showing you in this video. So um, I say welcome again. So if you're visiting this channel for the first time, um, this is actually a technology related channel whereby I do this out tutorial on a daily basis. So if you want to be part of this channel and want to learn or watch more of my videos, kindly hit the subscribe button, which is that red rectangular button that has inscription subscribe directly below this video that you are watching. Also turn on the bell notification so that I get notified whenever I release my next video. So having done that, let us go straight down to business. So if you shall look, um, this is the home screen of the mobile app of Binance, how it looks like. So you will see... Um, you scroll through, you see an application that says um, you see something like deposit referral strategy. And so if you tap on N, let's go to actually tap on N, you see um, you have um, various tokens which you can actually, um, if you have a token, and let's scroll, uh, for example, look at H bar, the first one I just tapped on. So the annual percentage yield for H bar is 0.5%, which actually means that if you subscribe to, um, let's say, flexible or locked, savings you shall be earning five percent of what of the amount of H bar you have in twelve months time. So that's another percentage yield for H bar. If you look at USDT um, the first level uh, flexible savings, the annual percentage yield is actually ten percent. While for fixed savings it is five percent. So what's the difference between fixed and flexible savings or locked in or locked and um, locked or fixed savings in you can call it any of the two. So um, flexible savings is that, for example, if you save, you can actually redeem your coin at any time or at any moment if you wish. But once you um, saved it on a fixed savings, um, the duration by which you subscribe, be it seven days, a month, or even a year, you have to wait for that duration to elapse before you can be able to redeem or to redeem automatically back to your sports wallet. and support. Uh, that's why this video I said is how to redeem coins subscribed on flexible savings. So now, once you see that, let's go to savings. And I'm actually doing this as a practical video. I will show you what I've saved and I want to redeem them. So you see, these are the various um, coins or tokens you can subscribe to flexible savings but if you go to locked savings you see they are limited you can actually subscribe to a limited amount of token so it depends on you and what you want but i normally use a flexible savings and because i would like to like redeem my coins at any time i want to so that's the more reason why i use flexible savings so now let's go to, let us go back to the home screen let's do the practical example on how to um, redeem coins subscribe on flexible saving if you should look this is home screen so going to the bottom you see various navigation icon we we'll start from the home wallet um trade futures and wallet i'm mean, sorry home uh, market trade futures and wallet so the first thing you would like to do is to go to the wallet option you have to tap on the wallet option and you see your assets and whatever you have and binance will be displayed so you see the navigation at the top like i am I'm rubbing through you you scroll to where it says N. You now tap on N. You have to go to the N portion. So as you can see, um, I actually subscribe VET that is V Chain token, and I feel like yes, I want to redeem this token now or this coin now. I don't want to. Um, I is actually on flexible um savings. That's more reason why I said I like using flexible savings because I actually I will actually redeem my coin what in whatever time I desire. 
So now this is the VET. So the uh, the first step is going to earning, and so this display will, um, or this page or this um, view will pop up. Now the next thing you have to do is to tap on uh, the the subscription, the part of the subscription that says VET and the token, the five percent. Just tap on it like I just did. So now it will now take you to where um, the explanation of whatsoever you've done. As you can see, I I, I actually auto subscribe. This simply means that on a daily basis, the cycle um the amount of um VEC that I've accumulated that moves to my sports wallet, which is my percentage gain, will be auto subscribed with the amount or the initial amount of VEC actually subscribed. So I placed on auto subscribe. So the next thing you would do. The first thing you do if you want to, if I want to redeem this token because I want to do it at the moment. I want to know about VET. Once you subscribe to VET, VET or VChain, um, that's the full name, you uh, you observe that you always have an edge up amount of VTOR. And this is the amount of um, VTOR I've accumulated. If you should go to, you see, edge up amounts, I have 43 um, VTOR. That's V T H O. Yes, let me call it that way. So now uh, that's the, that's one thing about VChain. You receive, you have an uh, interest on your V E T two coins, and you also have an edge up of V T H O. So now let's go. Now I have to do the first thing or the second thing. We've come to this place. You have to um, hover and switch off this auto subscribe. That's the first thing I'll do because I want to redeem my token. Now if you see below, you have redeem and you have subscribe. So I'll tap on redeem. Because like I said, I want to redeem this token. It will now bring me to a new page um, explaining what and what um, I want to do and how I would like to do it. For example, you see Fast Redemption, which is, you see the um, yellow um, rectangular that's over it. Is this um, um, uh, standard redemption is fast. So now let's go to Fast Redemption. So what's Fast Redemption all about? Say um, a minimum of um, that that you have to the amount of token. So what fa the difference between the two is that the redeemed quantity will be returned today, which that is, we are using fast redemption. If I should use fast redemption, which it means that the yield interest I supposed to accumulate for today wouldn't be added to my initial coin. So most people like using fast redemption. Maybe they want to sell their coin immediately. So now the next one you have is the standard redemption. So this in the standard redemption it says that um, the um, assumed quantity that the redeemed quantity will be returned on so 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 day, which is um, the exact time that um, 24 hours from the time that I actually subscribe to that. So he said you are still entitled to today's accrued interest. Which means that the interest of today will also be set for me tomorrow by tomorrow, the exact time I subscribed, either a week ago or two weeks ago, yesterday or whatsoever. So that's the difference. So fast redemption, you'll be receiving your token immediately while Standard redemption, the interest for today will also be served to you. So I would like to use the standard redemption because um, my time has already gone far and I would like to receive the interest for today. So after choosing it, now you go to believe so that you've read to the time and agreement. Yes, you have to tick the check box. Yes, I just ticked the check box. Then the next thing is what you have to. Okay, I haven't selected the amount of. Let's go forward. You see that I haven't actually selected the amount of VET that I want to redeem. So I'll just click on max. And the, the total amount of it I have is now displayed. So now you can see the confirm and button is now yellow, which means I can actually tap up confirm. So I've selected a standard redemption just like I told you because I want it I want the acute interest for today to be added to my coin. So I'll click on confirm. As you can see, redemption confirmed and this are this way. So estimated um return time which is tomorrow being the um the the twenty third of June, yes. So that is that. So uh, after that, now that will go back to my wallet. Note that it won't be displayed in your sports wallet at this time, but it will return back to your sports wallet at that uh, time that it showed you. So as you can see, it's still in the earning portion because I want to accrue the interest for today. So you can see how easy it for it is for you for you to actually redeem your coins. Um, you subscribe to Flexible Savings on Binance. And so if you find this video informative enough or if you are still confused in any angle, you can still go to the comment section, ask your questions, and I will attend to them speedily. And also, if you, this video is okay for you, can actually give it a thumbs up um, to actually make the YouTube algorithm to push it out for people who want to learn how to redeem coins and subscribe to Flexible Savings on Binance. And so kindly give it a thumbs up. And yes,
I will be happy and you'll be happy. And if you have not yet hit the subscribe button, kindly do that before you leave this video because um, you never can tell what other video I'll be dishing out to this channel because I believe they are quite informative and useful enough for you. So with that, we've come to the end of this video. Chibuzo Agua, like I said, is my name. And Blogging for Tech is the name of this channel. So anticipate and we'll meet in my next video. Bye-bye for now.